Good morning, everyone. Cheryl Ann here. I'm going to do a unhaul video and um, talk about my brand new little free library that is up and running. It's called Sunflower Gardens. You can find it on the little free library uh, website. It's um, you find a library, you take a book, you leave a book. It's littlefreelibrary.org. You can go there and look at the map and read up about it. So, um, I've been, I've been going to libraries and thrift stores trying to get enough books to start my library. I have a, a two shelf wooden one that is currently being made and it hasn't shipped yet. And I probably won't get it to the end of the month, but these are some books I've had these, you know, forever just lying around, you know, in the living room. My husband goes, get rid of them. So, um, <laughs> I love Nevada Bar, and I've read almost every one of her books. She's, I don't think she's writing anymore. Um, her main character is Anna Pigeon. She's a ranger, ranger for the U.S. Park Service, and um, each book kind of takes place in a different national park. And you know what? I, I don't think I've read this one. I think it's one of her last ones, but... I'm going to pass it on. I love Nathaniel Philbrick. I read The Heart in the Heart of the Sea because some of my ancestors on my mom's side, they were, I have some gardener. I have some um, ancestors from Nantucket who were there at the, you know, they were there when it was a whaling town and then they, they were Quakers, so they broke away and they, they left. Um, but I read In the Heart of the Sea, and I just, oh, I just loved the book. And I've read a couple of his others. I've, I've got his um, Custer one on my, my tablet. But you know what? I just, I, I, I'm ready to move on. <laughs> and then John Grisham is another one of my favorite authors. And I've had this book sitting around till it gathered dust and I had to dust it off. And it's like, you know, I, I need to, it needs to move on. His book, The Testament. Oh, my gosh. I think I've read it three times now. One of my favorite books. But anyway, this one needs to find a new home. And also The Duchess. Oh, my gosh. I loved I loved the movie. I've read about half the book. And then I just stopped. I thought, you know, this is silly. I just can't, I can't hold on to these forever. They need to let other people, oh my gosh. And this one, Bark Skins, the book is so different than the TV show. I, I asked, I told my husband, I go, I don't even know if this is the same thing. It's vastly different. I love, I only got through like a third of this book. And it's, it's really long. I mean, look how thick that is. But it's an excellent book. If you have time to read it. Um, she wrote The Shipping News, which I now have a copy of. And Brokeback Mountain, too. She's a really good writer. And then one of my favorite writers, Michael Crichton. Um, this is Prey. I didn't read it <laughs> um, in the Nevada desert. An experiment has gone horribly wrong. A cloud of nanoparticles have escaped from the laboratory. Of course, you can imagine the chaos that <laughs> um, if you ever get a chance to read his Eaters of the Dead, uh, which is 13th Warrior. Oh, my gosh. That's again, that's one of my favorite books and then uh Preston and Child they are a couple more of my favorite authors this is um Agent Pendergast novel Bloodlust takes place in New Orleans I'm I'm not a real fan of Pendergast I was just talking with my husband 
I love the, the girl FBI agent and the archaeologist when they get together and they do stuff in the Southwest. But I just, I read 25 pages of this one and I just said, you know what? This one is, it's not for me. <laughs> and then an older one that Douglas Preston wrote, The Kraken Project. Um, I've just, you know, <clears throat> I have way too many books here. And I need to unhaul some of them. So I'm thinking, you know, these can go, these can go out in my temporary library setup. I, I now have the big plastic one full of children's books. And I have a picnic basket full of um, adult novels like these. And it's completely full, so I may I may just stick these in um, in a bag in my car, and when I go visit other little free libraries. But I have to tell you, in my town, there are only two of us, <laughs> and one lady is down by the high school, and she wraps up her books, so you don't really know what you're getting. The other lady is in; she's only she's like a mile away. She's in the next city. She's in Rancho Mirage. And uh, it doesn't look like she maintains her library very, very often. So, um, the, yes, the little Matryoshka dolls are on my desk. I started collecting those, and I, I had about, I had about six, and I sent some of them to our son. And I'm keeping this one because this is this one has. It has horses on it, so nobody's getting that one. But I have these two. I might pass them on. If you don't know what they are, they open up. And then there's a smaller one inside. And inside that smaller one, there's another one inside. And then there's another one inside till you get to the last one, which is one solid piece. And they're called Matryoshka dolls or Babushka dolls. I think we got these in L.A. Fairfax District. I don't remember exactly. It's been so long. Our son was in college, and that's like pfft, 20 years ago. So anyway, um, this is the first video I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a new channel just for my little free library and book hauls and book unhauls, and I'm going to call it Sunflower Gardens because that's the name of my little free library. So... Um, do do look for that. I will link it. I, I once I get it set up, I'll link it um to this main one and I'll put this one on my main one until I get the other one going. So um do leave do leave your comments. Um if you have any comments, do leave them here and I'll get back to you. Okay, well that's it for today. Until next time. Bye for now.